The Wooden Roy Adventures of Thomas the Tank Engine, Episode 10, Cody's Mountain Adventure. Groundhog Day had come and gone on the island of Sodor. The groundhog had seen a shadow, so that meant there was going to be six more weeks of winter. Well, most of the engines on Sodor were happy that they were going to have snow for a little while longer. A couple engines in particular were not happy. I don't like the snow, said Gator. Why don't you like the snow? asked Gordon. Because, said Cody, me and Gator work up in the mountains, and it can be very dangerous work up there. And when the snow comes, it doesn't get any safer. Yeah, said Gator. Groundhog Day is just a big hoax. The groundhog will always see his shadow. What's the point in celebrating this dumb holiday? Will you two stop grumbling to that word? Yeah, said James. I don't think you've heard about the Top Hat's plants. What plants? asked Gator. Well, you see, said Gordon. So Tom Hatt is planning to open a new line that has a lot of hills, but these hills are going to be very difficult to climb. So Sir Tom Hatt has decided that all of his engines will get new wheels to help him climb up the hills. New wheels? said Cody. Really? I... I don't know what I, what to think about that. Well, none of us know what to think about either, said Gordon, but well, it's going to have to be done. Well, um, that sounds interesting, said Gator. Indeed, said Edward. I wish I could get new wheels, said the flying Scotchman. But, well, I'm not going to be on Soto for much longer, so there won't be any point in getting wheels if I'm going to leave soon. <laughs> well, we'll tell you how it like, said Edward. How about that? That will be fine, said the flying Scotchman. Uh-oh, said Doug. Here comes trouble. And trouble was indeed coming. Diesel pulled up to the turntable. What's going on here? asked Diesel. Nothing, said Gator. Just go away, Diesel. No, said Diesel. Something's going on and I want to know what. We're just talking, said James. Nothing you'd be interested in. <laughs> Whatever, said Diesel. Diesel, if you're looking for something to do, why not go shut in the yard, said Edward. Maybe the trucks will sing your favorite song. <laughs> said Diesel. By the way, what's he still doing here? You better watch the way he's talk to my brother, said Gordon. The reason I'm still here, I said the flying Scotsman, is because there's been six more weeks of rent to report it, and I'm going to be here a while because my ship's going to be delayed due to the harsh winter. Oh, said Diesel, I see. Just then, Thomas came into the area. Hey guys, said Thomas, mind if I join in? You're welcome to join in all you want, said Duck. Now how come you let Thomas join in this conversation, but you don't let me, said Diesel? Because, said Cody, Anything you either, anything you have to say is either rude or offensive. <laughs> I can't believe that Tom Hatt has kept you here all these years. I don't know what he was thinking. Indeed, said Duck. Diesel, please don't take this personally, but just go away. Go visit Croc's scrapyard. Maybe Red will scrap you by mistake or something. That Diesel had finally had enough. That does it, he said. I'm out of here. I'm stowing away crossly. The engine's had him wanted Diesel to get upset, but they knew that if Diesel couldn't say anything nice to them, then they couldn't say anything nice to him. So, said Thomas, um, what's new to report? Well, for one thing, said the Flying Scotchman, so Tom Hatt is opening a new track, and we're all getting new wheels to help us go along the new track. Well, that's interesting, said Thomas. Another thing, said Doug, is that I'm getting some new slip coaches from my old railway. Well, that's nice to hear, said Thomas. I wonder when they'll arrive. Who knows, said Duck. Another thing, said Cody, is that it's about time I went for an overhaul. I've been overworked and I need a visit to the works. Well, you'll get that visit to the works when you go to get your new wheels, said Gordon. Oh, good, said Cody. Well, um, it's getting a little bit late. Um, I guess we all better get some sleep. Indeed, said the fine Scotchman, and the engines all went to sleep. The next day, Cody went to the works to get his new wheels, but he didn't return for quite some time. He came back two weeks later with a completely new look. The engines were most surprised when they saw Cody arrive at the sheds. Cody, said Gator, you look so different. What took you so long at the works? Well, said Cody, my new wheels wouldn't fit on me properly, so the only way they could really get them to fit was to, well, Remodeled me. So, well, it took a while, but I'm finally ready to be really useful again. I look like a brand new engine that just rolled right out of the factory. 
Indeed, said the flying Scotchman. I'm lucky I hadn't left yet, or else I wouldn't have gotten to see your marvelous new shape. Cody felt flattered. Well, I'd best be off to work, said Cody. Goodbye, and he puffed away. Cody was coming down the line when he came across Duck at the at the red suspension bridge. Hello, Duck, said Cody. Do you like my new shape? Yes, indeed, said Duck. You look you look like you're ready to do things the great western way. Uh huh, said Cody. Well, um, have you gotten your new slip coat just yet? Yes, indeed, said Duck. Look, they're right behind me. But Cody didn't see anything. Um. I think you're missing something, Duck. What do you mean I'm missing something, said Duck? But then he looked behind himself. Oh no, where have my slip coaches gone? Don't worry, Duck, said Cody. I'll help you find them. They must have come uncoupled. We'll go back the way you came and see if we can tr find them. And Cody and Duck hurried away down the track. Duck and Cody looked all along the line, but they couldn't find the slip coaches anywhere. Their search eventually led them to the new track that Sir Topham had it open that was full of hills. Cody was lucky to have gotten his new wheels and he made it up the hill with, with ease. Then Cody thought he saw something inside the tunnel. He spun on the turntable and went through it. No, nothing, he said. But then, he looked up, straight into the eyes of none other than Devious Diesel, who was sitting outside a tunnel. That explains the missing slip coaches, said Cody. You've got them, haven't you? Realizing he had been caught, Diesel sped out of the tunnel with the slip coaches behind him. Duck watched from the track above as his slip coaches were pulled away by Diesel, with Cody giving chase. Then there was trouble. Going up one of the hills, Diesel's wheels started spinning on the track. He hadn't had his wheels modified for the new track, and the extra weight of the slip coaches caused problems. Realizing he was about to be caught, Diesel uncoupled the slip coaches, which hurtled towards Cody, stopping just in front of him. Diesel made his way down the hill. Knowing that the coaches on the track had stopped Cody, he ran through the work shed and was gone. Meanwhile, Duck had caught up with Cody and was so pleased to see his slip coaches. They coupled the slip coaches back on the duck and he and Cody puffed away with them. So why are they called slip coaches? asked Cody. We well, see, said Duck, they, these coaches can be uncoupled automatically without having to stop, so they can roll into the station and let the passengers out while the train can keep going. That way, there are no delays on the Great Western Railway. Interesting, said Cody. Well, it's getting late again. We Let's go back to the shed. And the two puffed away. I wonder what's going to happen to Diesel, said Duck. Who knows, said Cody.